dear brothers and sisters i welcome you all to hear and see this video message in this video i am going to explain land planning for renewable energies in india this article i wrote on 31st january 2020 and my suggestion already i sent to our union government through citizens portal mygovernment.in content for this video i given in the description you can go through and study as a nation seeking to achieve rapid economic growth in an era of climate change india has committed itself to advancing renewable energy and promoting reforestation both these approaches provide multiple benefits for our people and environment and they will also contribute to the effort to keep global average temperature under 2 degree celsius further some analysis have projected that renewable energy can generate an additional 2.3 lakhs job by 2022 india currently ranks fourth in the world in renewable energy capacity excluding large hydro power after china us and germany however in order to continue making significant progress on, on our renewable energy ambition india will need to address several barriers one critical aspect that is only now starting to get attention island solar and wind power have 3 to 12 times the land intensity of coal for every megawatt hour given that land is one of the scarcest commodities in india if you do not plan the use of land for our renewable energy infrastructure carefully we will witness conflicts instead of identifying land for one renewable energy project at a time high solar and wind turbine potential states should proactively map out areas where they can meet their longer term renewable energy targets recent technologies te- advances facilitate land planning for multiple objectives by geographic information services which is identifying land for reforestation in addition to renewable energy india has a national policy goal of goal for covering a third of our land with forest at a global level india has also committed to creating an additional carbon sink of 2.5 to 3 billion tons of carbon dioxide equivalent by 2030 primarily through forest and tree cover this too requires land if proactive land planning is not done state may establish renewable energy projects where reforestation potential is high and vice versa which would not be efficient bible says in genesis chapter 47 verse 19 Wherefore shall we die before thine eyes, both we and our land? By us and land for bread, and we and our land will be servants unto Paro, and give us seed that we may live and not die, that the land be not desolate. Also in Numbers chapter 13 verse 20, and what the land is, whether it be fat or lean, whether there be wood therein or not. Amen. India should use barren lands for renewable energies and reforestation. In India to reduce energy consumption, all state governments should make a policy implement to replace sodium vapor lamps by LED bulbs in civic, public and private establishment. LED bulb energy consumption is 60% less than sodium vapor lamp. By this Greater Chennai Corporation saves Rs. 2.5 crores of monthly bill after replace 2.8 lakh streetlights with LED bulbs. LED bulbs have the durability of 8 years compared with 1 year of sodium vapor lamp. By considering all above points kindly pray and prophecy for India should be energy independence country by India. 2030 and reliable 24 into 7 electricity supply to all citizens of India. Bible says in chapter Matthew chapter 4 verse 16, the people which sat in darkness saw great light. Amen for India.